Welcome Leo, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for November 2023. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself won't resonate. Leave what does not. I do need to announce the competition winners for last month. So the winner of the angel reading cards was Debbie Jones and the winner of the personal reading was Georgia Stewart. Both winners need to get in touch to claim your prize. Email is in the description box down below. So please shoot me an email to claim those prizes. Uh, there is a competition running again this month, so if you want to go into the draw to win this gorgeous wrap beaded bracelet, it's got a gorgeous heart in the centre, I will put a close up on, up on here. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below, you want to win that wrap bracelet, you'll go into the draw. There is another personal reading up for grabs this month, I'll be looking for a very positive community member, also let me know in the comments down below, you want to win that prize. Alright, let's dive in Leo. So we're going to be pulling you a central energy from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, you've got a message to open your heart up to love. Now this could be in your current partnership. It can be someone new coming in towards you. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Now, we'll just mention my personal readings are open if you need extra guidance and support at this time. They're a mix of tarot guidance, spiritual guidance, transformational coaching. I check your Akashic record, your past life information, meditate on your energies, as well as answer your most burning questions. So I will put the booking link on here and down below. Oh, you got happiness coming. There's dolphins jumping out of the water. So beautiful. <laughs> oh, you've also pulled wonders, which is the ability to manifest and attract miracles in your life. Mm, it's Bruce saying you've got the freedom to do whatever it is that you want. You are limitless, Leo. Mm, and you've got the power of the universe behind you at this time. So a lot of support in the spiritual realm. Let's just amp this up some crystals. All right, let's pull some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at this happiness going on here. Oh, you've got the door to personal healing and happiness opening. Wow, Leo. Some of you, it can be a return to good health after going through some sort of health challenge. For others, you're just going to feel a lot happier, a lot brighter. And you've also got action here. So you're going to feel more action orientated. You're going to feel more empowered. Some of you have been doing a lot of healing around self, yeah, to feel more balanced. Okay. You've got deceit here. So let's find out why that's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, spirit saying, here we are. You are coming into a lot more balance, particularly when it comes to your coin. Yeah, so a lot of financial security, stability, focusing on that. Why is deceit here? Okay, you're sitting in the heart chakra. So some of you may have gone through something that affected your heart chakra. You've overcome it. You're coming out the other side. Let's have a look at wonders. Mm, three here. You've got anxiety. Now, it's related to taking action, but Spirit's saying you're going to have victory over it, right? So whatever you've been through that caused you anxiety, you're going to have victory over it, and leading you to cornucopia, which is success on every level, mm -hmm. as well as sitting under your coin here. Let's have a look at this anxiety. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Three here. It was related to indecision. So you may have possibly been in a state where you weren't sure if you wanted to go left or right, yeah. Could have been about this gorgeous caring connection which is in your life or coming towards you. And you've got the daughter spirit watching over you. So you've got so much support around you, a love around you. Let's have a look at freedom. You've got man holding a coin, woman holding a coin. So whatever's coming towards you in terms of your financial situation, you're going to feel like you've got more financial freedom to do what you want. Wow, okay. You have got envy here. So some of you may be feeling in a state of lack, which is causing you to feel a little indecisive. Watch that. Because it's just a state of mind, Spirit's saying. You've got to get in your higher states of consciousness. Mm. 
Because that could be old patterning playing out. Yeah, because you're feeling tied up and stuck. It's come through again. Mm. Spirit's saying you got all the doors opening, darlings. <laughs> you got the door to love opening. You got the door to money opening. So there's no need to be stuck. None whatsoever. <laughs> you got the sun coming out. Blessings on every level. Beautiful positive shift in energy. All right, let's have a look at the power of the universe behind you. I've got to say they're going to propel you forward. Big message to trust your intuition. Don't second guess yourself. Oh, you got man holding a heart here. There's definitely love. <laughs> uh, you know, it can represent a love interest, guys, looking for love. You've got healer of the ages here. So I would suggest some of you have been doing a lot of healing work around self. And you've got a message to have a plan and a strategy to move yourself forward. Mm -hmm. Some of you may want to follow a path of love and light. And Spirit's saying have a solid plan. Mm. Particularly when it comes to the root chakra. So there is a focus on your finances here. There's a man holding a heart, woman holding a heart. There's a divine pair following each other around here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so many doors you can open, so many opportunities, new opportunities coming your way. Oh, darling, love's all over your reading. I mean, you started with love. You've got the angel of love touching your life. You've got your solar plexus chakra here. So there can be a new significant boost to your energy levels where you might have felt a little bit zapped before. And you've got the thinking woman. So girls, being very balanced and rational, yeah? Pull yourself up when you get into any negative state because you don't need to be there. You've got the journey card. So you may be planning a trip together. Um, certainly transformation going on. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Looking at this top row, it's all about your happiness and your joy. Mm -hmm. Pink coin. Clear guidance. So thinking about it. All right, let's come out in threes. You've got the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Water, which is wanting to do something more meaningful. It can mean relocating, moving, making big life changes, leaving all the empty cups behind, the things that didn't work out, brand new, fresh start in your life. Oh, darling, you've got the Ten of Cups, a gorgeous, happy, beautiful relationship, children, family, uh, home, and the Ten of Earth, which is... Creating a legacy, financial legacy, can represent inheritance. It's loaded with coin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the ability of you to manifest miracles in your life. There's a gorgeous caring connection here. You moving past states of feeling stuck, having victory. Cornucopia. Yeah, you've got the two of earth. You will be juggling a lot. There's a lot on your plate right now. Mm, Spirit's saying you need to balance that with regular time out and rest. So you've got to soothe the mind, get into the physical body. Mm -hmm. And what's going to help you staying really disciplined and organised, yeah? Got the emperor there. Have a look at the freedom to do whatever you want. Your daughter money and love opening. <laughs> you've got the one of air, which is your ideas might need a little bit of refinement if you're trying to kick something off. Watch the timing of things. And you've got the Queen of Earth, which is very um, a lot of self-belief, a lot of confidence, a focus on the coin, home, family. All right, let's have a look at the power of the universe behind you. It's just so much here about love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've got your chakras here as well going off. Doors opening. Okay, you've got the three of air, a time of great sadness. So... Some of you may have experienced a loss, but to be honest, you're coming out the other side. You may experience a, a like somebody leaving your life, um, whether it's human or animal. Mm -hmm. There's also there's a big focus on your material wealth right here. So the four of earth is putting money aside for savings, being very practical with your money, not wasting it. Mm, you got the Queen of Earth, the King of Earth, and there's a divine pair here, both focused together or separately on your coin, yeah? Time of great success, financial security and abundance. 
Mm -hmm. Everything turning out beautifully for you. Guy or girl. All right, let's give you some guidance for the goddess guidance deck. Oh, you're divinely watched over by a guardian angel, my loves, and it's directly related to this brand new fresh start. Gorgeous caring connection in your life as well as your abundance. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got Dana High Priestess. Some of you got ancient wisdom. You can use a spiritual teaching. You might want to follow a spiritual path. Might just be part of your daily practices. Oh my God. <laughs> you got Sedna Infinite Supply. Spirit saying, stop worrying. Your emotional needs, your material needs can be met for today and all of your tomorrows. Divine assistance from the universe. And you got the Justice card. Whatever you've been through in terms of loss, is there's going to be karmic justice coming into play yeah all right let's pull you some guidance from the muse tarot oh that's flying out oh you got the queen of materials which is self-made success for those of you in your own business working really hard to be really proud of yourself okay you just got to watch this which is the two of voices which is overthinking things because in this row underneath this we do have that state of anxiety and holding yourself stuck do not get state stuck in states of overthinking right trust in the process in the plan mm. you got the chariot which is being unstoppable right be unstoppable darling <laughs> all right get three here oh here we go again Four voices, so much in your head. Spirit saying, give yourself a break, Leo. Get out of that brainwave of yours that's overthinking. Oh, she's in a bubble bath with rose petals. Um, there is going to be a sense of celebration, ten of emotions, um, a lot of joy and happiness coming into your life. And you've got the emperor again in this deck. Again, it's about being very strong and confident, self-belief, not letting any obstacles sway you from your path. And you've got the Musa voices, which is kind of interesting. It's come out on this side where you've got justice. Now, this is acting with integrity and in accordance to your own values. And when you do that, whatever situations you're going through with others or in your life, um, fairness will come into play. Justice will come into play. Let's pull you some guidance from the Crystal Healing Deck. Oh, some of you are going through some relationship healing. It may be in, in terms of with a life partner. Mm. Whatever you're going through, you're stepping into your personal power, your empowerment. Beautiful. Mm. And you need to apply a lot of self-love. Or you have been applying a lot of self-love. Oh, darlings. More confirmation. You've got abundance coming in. Let me bring close. Oh, abundance. <laughs> Oh, you regularly got to ground your energy. You're going to need to keep your feet on the ground, darlings, because these blessings are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got to stay grounded. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Mm, you've got to embrace the feminine. So be in flow with your energy. Uh huh. Your softer side. Oh, you've got to know your fears. So those of you where it resonates that you're either having a little bit of anxiety, worrying about money, holding yourself back a little bit, just fear-based thoughts, right? So what you focus on is what you attract. Don't <laughs> come out with do not fear the unknown. You do not need to know every step of your path, right? Allow life to unfold. You cannot control everything, Leo. And you've got Onagaya, which is doing your part to protect Mother Earth, Mother Nature. We're all responsible for that. All right, let's pull your message from your angels. Very positive reading, Leo. Oh, you've got a healing angel here. It says at this very moment you're being bathed in gold, pink, and green light. Accept this healing. We, your angels, surround you with our wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh, eternally abundant. All three your reading. All right, I've got this gorgeous new deck and it's got this beautiful wolf on the front. It is the White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild. It has the most gorgeous messages. So hang around for your crowning energy. Mm -hmm. What is it Leo needs to know right now? Oh, I'm sure if this one's come out before. You've pulled the Oracle of Shaldia. I mean, there's a lot about the crown and the third eye chakra being lit up there. Let's pull you up the message. Uh, 
Are you ready, Leo? It says, oh, it says, continue on your healing journey with enthusiasm, but without forcing things to happen more quickly than feels natural. Sometimes the body will be ready to let go whilst the mind is still holding on. At other times, the mind may need to be patient as the body processes an experience. Trust in your timing and rhythm. There is no need to be impatient or to judge yourself. You are summoning the spiritual fortitude to tackle an issue which has previously held you back. When the time is right, the healing shall happen more easily than if you tried to push forward prematurely. Things are going to work out. Be positive. Jim and your reading. It says there may be times when being present in the body and feeling our truth is challenging. We may be unsure as how to hold space for our own emotional and psychological states. Humans are complex creatures and the authentic healing journey requires us to have patience with ourselves. We need to know when it is safe to delve into a matter with full faith that even if things feel out of control, we are connected to a powerful supportive spiritual network and our own wisdom and it's enough to handle whatever arises. And we can imagine that the wounded self lives in a room in the mansion of our soul. And when that room has not been entered in a long time, it may become a scary place in our minds, a place to avoid. And it is part of how humans protect themselves. And living in such a split and defended state is not tenable forever. But for a time, it can serve a useful purpose, allowing us to build the strength and awareness we need to address the situation. We do what we can to grow and prepare to enter that room, to open it and to rescue the beautiful aspect of our soul that's been waiting for such a time to come. To prepare for such a heroic healing moment, we can connect with the spiritual realms of light as a source of love and strength. And during such downtime with the divine, we can learn about ourselves beyond our wounded parts. And while we know we have some healing to do, we also understand that alongside our vulnerability, there is courage, wisdom, and confidence. And by acknowledging our wounds and affirming our strengths, we ready ourselves to take our next steps. And the Chaldean is the devotee of the light of spirit. And when this oracle comes to you, it's encouragement to rely on the light embrace practices that help you feel connected to the light grow your trust in the spirit within you it's not about ignoring where you need healing it's about knowing at a deep level that you are loved spiritually guided divinely held worthy and capable of healing and as you trust in the spiritual light within you and your connection to the spiritual worlds increases and so too will your readiness to acknowledge and engage with that which needs healing You'll feel safe and supported and ready to move on. You may feel your relationship with spirit is already strong enough to support such a process. If that's the case, the Oracle is encouragement to embrace your readiness, allow the grace of your spiritual journey to expand into all areas of your life. You're going through a spiritual growth spurt, a forward leap on your path of healing and awakening. It is a reminder that no matter how large a challenge may loom, you can continue to grow your spiritual connection. So it's always more powerful than anything else. Wow. So certainly going through a healing journey. I think a lot of you've done a lot of your healing journey, right? So whatever you're clearing or accepting or embracing or facing about self is leading you to a place of wholeness, happiness, love, joy, financial abundance. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, darlings, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated with you. Do join us for the lives every Friday. They happen at 10 a.m. in Perth time, 1 p.m. Sydney. It's your day before if you're in the US on Thursday, 5 p.m. onwards. We do have a lot of fun in there. Every week we do a different topic. This, um, depending on when this goes out, we will be doing uh, empaths and super empaths. Uh, so if you don't have time to watch them, do come back and watch the live replays on the live tab on my channel or the inspirational playlist. And before you go, go and check out your star sign, coffee mugs, journals, task planners. You can also, beautiful gifts they make, all designed by moi. You can find some of them on my YouTube channel shop or in my Elysium Gallery website. All right, darling, for now, much love, much love. Namaste. Mm -hmm.